Good morning, guys. Welcome back into the channel. This is Chaz with Side Hustle Network. If you are not familiar with us, you are new to the channel. My wife and I uh, run a couple different businesses, one of which is where we directly buy and sell products on Amazon, eBay. Second company is going to be kind of the bread and butter of this whole operation right now, which is prepping and shipping for other sellers as well. And in today's video, it's an exciting day. I wanted to document because we are getting our first real run of pallet racking. Now we do have two locations. We have our first location up in Oregon. We actually moved down here to Texas several months ago. So we have a new office space here and we actually get to have real pallet racking. Up in Oregon, we have something called rivet shelving, which is a little bit different. Here we have a lot more vertical to go. So we're getting the actual legit pallet racking. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys just a normal day in the life of what we got going on right now. It's about nine o'clock, just got to the office. I did get a phone call on the way here from the freight company and gave me a window between 11.30 and 12. So I've got a couple hours to do actual work before they get here. So we actually currently don't have a forklift or anything to take the pallets up off these, these trucks. So we do have a dock out back, but being pallet racking, I don't know how these are showing up. Some of these beams are eight feet long which means they're probably not gonna come on just a standard pallet I can use a jack with. So fortunately, one of our neighbors uh, just met him this morning, awesome guy. He's gonna go um, use his forklift to take that off for us. So until that load gets here, uh, basically just walk you through what we do in a normal day. Usually when I get here, it's going to be eBay shipping first between our own account, and then we also work with clients where we list and ship on their eBay accounts as well. So eBay shipping is the first and foremost thing I do every single morning because our USPS pickup is about noon every day. After that, we have a couple Amazon FBA client shipments to get out, which currently there's a couple unboxed on the table right now. Once that's all done, then we switch over to our photo booth area and start working on taking photos of our own products, get those listed on our own eBay account. And then we switch over after doing our own stuff to get the client products photoed and listed as well. And on top of that, just running any business, we've got the back end admin stuff. I've got to go through, um, do supplies orders. I got to go through and check up on all of our emails, our Slack messages from clients, all the fun admin stuff. So this is currently what we consider the eBay room, Facebook marketplace pickups this morning, by the way, on my way into work. Uh, this is all my eBay stuff. And then we've got some of our client uh, products that are, that are currently listed. So this is turning in slowly into the full scale eBay room. Um, so I got these for 25 bucks each, not too shabby. What I could actually do inside of this video, I'll show you the process of just cleaning these up a little bit and then actually photoing and listing all three of these pairs. So I'll throw that in this today's video. eBay shipping, I just have two of my own items going out today. Number one is a pair of these Nike Superfly cleats, sold those for 120, paid 30. So that was a sweet profit there. And you can see we do everything by custom SKU, so CL19. Fortunately, this one is right up front, so easy grab. You can see as we photo, I like to pre-bag all, all my stuff. If you guys have followed us for a while, you know I went through quite a few different options for shoes. I've done everything from stretch wrapping, bubble wrapping. Um, I eventually found the poly bag method has worked out really smooth for the listing process, so that's what we're sticking with. And one quick note is typically if anything sells for over $100, I am going to take a little bit better care of it than if it sold for less, so I will be bubble wrapping these. Order number two is this sweet 1995 Seal Judge Dread figure for $300. Believe it or not, my buy cost was four. Here, sweet figure. If it wasn't so big, I would have kept it myself. I ended up scoring this for only four bucks, not by itself, but it was part of a larger deal I did of over 300 figures and this was included with it. So four bucks turned into 300 and we'll see how much the shipping is gonna be on this because it is larger. So fortunately with doing Amazon FBA shipping full-time for clients, we get a fair amount of boxes in every day. Fortunately, we just had a pile of boxes we finished up from yesterday's shipment, and this thing is gonna be a perfect fit. Side note, if you are ever packing boxes, do not do them on the ground. Save your back, get some of these $12, maybe $13 um, Ikea nightstands. Those things work great for packing boxes and not needing to bend over. All 
Alright, so not bad. Shipping label via UPS bought directly through eBay was $34. This is actually going to Kentucky, even though it's sold overseas. It's called the Global Shipping Program, so they have one dedicated warehouse that will take care of the customs and all that. So I did have this listed for $340, and shockingly, those of you who sell know what I'm talking about, I got a $300 offer. Usually offers are real low, so the fact that I got a pretty much full asking price uh, was awesome. So after our fees, our $4 buy cost, our shipping cost all included, we should be looking at about a $220 profit. Just finished up with the client eBay shipping because it's client product. Can't exactly show y'all uh, without their permission. So maybe I'll get some permission to show you guys some packaging of the client side. Um, a lot of it's your standard clothing, shoes, the one-off stuff. So it shouldn't be a problem in future videos. Now I've got to hop over to Amazon World and get a client Amazon shipment packaged up and out the door. And you probably noticed by now, I am flying completely solo today. Trista's actually been volunteering over at a kid's camp that our boy Titus is in for the whole week. So they'll roll in at about 1, 1.30. And then of course, being a brand new location, we don't have staff quite yet. So it's literally just Trista and I running this entire operation down here. But the good news is in the next three to four weeks, we are bringing on our first actual employee. So that's gonna help relieve some of the extra work that we've been doing down here. FBA shipment complete. Time to clean up, reset, and get another client unboxed. And FedEx also just showed up. Got some more bubble wrap. So this is how a lot of the online arbitrage products will show up, just all separate boxes, different retailers. Um, and then for now, you guys can see why we need the pallet racking. We've just been organizing. You can see the post, post notes with names on the wall, organizing in piles. Um, so that pallet racking is gonna go all along that wall. It's not, we're getting a pretty small height. We're just doing eight feet to start with. Um, and then once we need the extra space up top, we can go higher. So as you can see, turned into a busy day when I'm just flying solo. Usually this is not the norm. It's just because of the kids camp going on, Trista's volunteering at, but most of the time, it's gonna be both of us here tag teaming everything, but we're pretty close. Uh, we're about three weeks out, three to four weeks out until we need to hire that first employee because we're definitely capped on our hours right now. But we got the Amazon side. These are all eBay boxes. So this is people's thrifted eBay items they ship to us. We'll do the photos, the listing, all that for them. Uh, so it's definitely, it's time to get clean, organized. Uh, we're, I consider this still just bare bones operation. We're not by any means full scale. Uh, we have better equipment to get, more organizing, all that fun stuff. So back to work. And just got the 10 minute heads up on the pallet racking getting delivered. So gave my neighbor, neighbor heads up. He's gonna meet me out back there. Um, I have no idea how many pallets this is showing up on. I know that there's 18 beams, uh, four uprights, and then you've got the grates that go in between. Um, so we'll see, I gotta make a little bit of room in here and then get this stuff in. All right, y'all, we're owners of real pallet racking, not just cheap shelving anymore. <laughs> uh, super awesome um, guy next door was able to help us get this off of here. So this will be a good starter rack to get everything up off the floor, get it onto that wall at full scale. I mean, this place is gonna have five or six of these things deep. This means I've got myself a project to do now. So I meal prepped last night at like 10 p.m completely forgot to bring my lunch today. Fortunately, there's a bomb taco spot five minutes down the road. So if you're in the San Antonio area off of 35, Little Johnny's Tacos. I see one of my little people. <laughs> oh, I see two of my little people. Hello, my little people. Hello, my big people. <laughs> How was camp? Good. Was it awesome? Yep. Did you have an awesome time? Did you have an awesome time? Yep. Yep. You guys tired? You want to say hi to the people? Yeah. Yeah? Hi, people. Uh. Oh, oh, you want selfie. There. That's the mode that she wants. Now what do you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are silly. Next up, switching over to the eBay side, I'm gonna be uh, 
listing these shoes that I showed you guys earlier. All three pair cleaned up. This is kind of my process that we came up with. So I keep my own spreadsheet system here. That way I have accurate data as far as buy costs, my suppliers, all that stuff will be on there. Um, so take my photos. Once those are photos, they get a skew. They get bagged, and then from in here, they just get sorted into these big boxes, which get sorted into that eBay room. All right, now we have all the Amazon FBA boxes that we can between last night and today. Or you think guy Eric comes back to for pickup. Thanks, Thank you again. Of course, have a good weekend. You. I got Eric, UPS. It's the man. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? <laughs> she just woke up from a nap. So now we are actually transitioning a bit. So we're hosting an eBay listing challenge right now where people get plugged into a Facebook group, do listings every day or they get kicked out. Very intense. Very. Uh, but we're super pumped because we're going to do a Zoom call with everybody with our friends Ryan and Allie over at Rally Roots. So and Sunday typically. And those are good buying days as well. <laughs> um, so this shout out to the vlog. <laughs> this, we're not what are you doing? All right, little one and big one. Get a couple minutes of screen time. What are you doing? Trying to set up the TV. Trying to set up a fire stick. And then we're setting up pallet racking. Step one. Got all the boxes cleared off right there. Step two, gotta get these name tags down. And then step three, gotta put these things up. All right, it's a good way to work up a sweat. Got the grates out. Great fit. So that means our order was correct. So that's the spacing we're gonna do for this stuff. Gives us room underneath, middle, up top. One way to do some cardio, work up a sweat. Tris is not wasting any time. She's like, racks her up, let's get organized. Uh, turns out in Texas, most warehouse spots don't have any type of AC in them. Um, luckily, our office build out's in the front, fully AC, that we keep that 72 out here is sweaty. This thing is gonna work out perfect for what we have right now. Um, so this will basically be mostly online arbitrage clients up top underneath we'll get all the ebay boxes out of the way sell client product that's ebay stuff two big piles one there one here we'll get that underneath um, as we process that and then we'll also get dividers so then we can have two client spots per open bay and go from there and then uh we need a ladder because that chair situation yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work out so here's an example of don't go fancy just use what you have large box then we have two spots for each. So there we go. And we are complete. Looks way better. Post a note situation will get fixed. We gotta order those nice white pallet racking name tags. Um, but we got storage up top for long-term stuff. Um, all of our OA clients up top, eBay on the bottom. <laughs> you hear that? What's that noise you're making? You're gonna be famous now. <laughs> uh.
So when we put this together, we're like, oh my gosh, it's huge. We have so much space. Filled it up in 30 minutes. So after this next round of paying two warehouse rents, we're gonna see how much cash we have left over and possibly just buy another run of these to make another aisle way because we do have more clients that we're onboarding. That concludes today's episode of I guess what we do in a day is what we'll call this. Yeah. Uh, big this mix of stuff. This was a, a busy day. Um, mm -hmm. Every day is a little different. Today just happened to be a lot of stuff mixed in because we did FBA shipments, client eBay photos and listings, our own eBay photos and listings, pallet racking. And our kids. Our kids, you can hear the background, I'm sure. It's seven o'clock, been here for a while. Time to clock out, head home, get some sleep. And we'll do it again Monday. Thanks for tuning in, guys.